Good afternoon, warm greetings from Kenya. Happy New Year. My name is Kiringai Kamau, the founder of Value Addition and Cottage Industry Development in Africa, or Vasid Africa in short. I'm delighted to offer my work for discussion in a forum like this. I am an agricultural economist, but my first training was in ICT, where I focused on public information systems, mainly automating government processes as a consultant hired by an American company called Data and Associates, Inc. When Data's project ended, I decided to work on my own, developing software for the SME sector, where I discovered that I needed training in SME management. So I attended a training program that was uh, being offered by Bristol University uh, in of the UK, but they were based here in Kenya for that program. I later became a trainer and a business counselor and, men and a mentor within the, the program of uh, the Bristol uh, University, uh, which was uh, under the British Council. Soon it became clear that um, most of the business was coming from agriculture. Um, and uh, so I decided to start developing solutions uh, for SMEs in agriculture, doing, therefore, ICT and agriculture work. This opened the challenges that there were in uh, agriculture, and particularly creating SMEs within agriculture. And uh, using the skills that I had acquired then, a project came up uh, for, from the government uh, jointly with UNIDO, and I was picked to implement a five-year project uh, where from I learned and became very well skilled in uh, value chain analysis. Um, then it it was happening at the same time as my business was also developing software solutions in the areas where I was fighting the challenges in the agricultural arena. What then happened is that um, because we were targeting mainly um, tea uh, in the automation process, we actually perfected the solution for tea, automating the entire tea sector in Kenya. Then uh, we went to Tanzania, it's the southern side of Tanzania where they produce tea. We have done a lot of automation there. Then uh, finally we came to Uganda, the western side, southwestern side of Uganda. And now we are in Rwanda. And we continue developing solutions uh, in uh, our effort to promote integration of ICTs for ag smallholder agriculture uh, in tea where mainly the, uh, the, the, the take-up of the technology was by plantations, learned by the who is who in the tea sector, Williamson, um, Unilever, and uh, others, uh, uh, group of multinationals that are involved in, the, in, in, the, in this region. Um, the smallholder sector in Kenya has not taken uh, the automation, had not, did it take auto, uh, automation from us, as uh, other countries did in the region, uh, which uh, can be associated with the transparency that was coming from that, is um, not as um, one would expect uh, to be accepted by the people in um, the, the tea sector, because um, there is a lot of transparency that ICT brings. No one was very keen about that. Uh, within the organization that manages the tea sector. We, they, we, they have warmed to that, and uh, now they have, uh, there are people who actually take the technology from us and deliver to them, I uh, suppose, with uh, a better markup than they would actually be able to get um, from, uh, directly from us. The, the thing is now uh, we are in tea, we are in um, data, where uh, we actually see more dynamism in the uh, the, the taking of the, the ICTs. Let me explain what ICTs we do. 
we discovered that the biggest challenge that the farmer faces is it is not just the processes of managing the organization. Smallholder farmers don't even have the organizations. But what they need is an accurate uh, instrument or device for weighing their produce. So we designed my organization called Octagon Data Systems, designed a scale that is hard held, that can be taken anywhere using uh, rechargeable batteries uh, to the field. And therefore we weigh uh, data and then it is relayed to the, to, to the organization that uh, aggregates the data or payment to the farmers. That has happened in the tea sector. It has happened in the dairy sector. It can happen with, within any agricultural produce where production is in small quantities and then aggregated so that uh, you deliver to, 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 to one processor or like, uh, one buyer. It has happened that uh, using now that, um, organizations have actually been able now to want to have reporting done more effectively using um, the mobile devices, the phone. Uh, and uh, we have actually integrated our solutions now with the um, um, mobile handsets, the telephone handsets. So it is possible now to SMS weights and all information that may be necessary from the field directed to the owner of the produce. So we can say that um, we have um, using weight as a standard, we have been able to capture the smallholder producer base and they are closely with the technologies that uh, my organization develops and delivers. So we are now currently very much involved in um, delivering that solution together with now back to with the, um, the, the, the training that because I, I actually got uh, some um, training in uh, agricultural economics. Uh, there was a program that was uh, started by the Association of Strengthening Agricultural Research in Eastern Central Africa, ASAREKA. And uh, through that program, I actually went through the process of learning the necessary, uh, 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 what is what to be captured in uh, now agriculturally driven value chains and farming systems. So I'm now uh, competent to actually uh, sit and uh, discuss researchable issues in agriculture and drive agricultural research uh, through the automation. So I'm now allowed now handling enterprise development, uh, handling ICT, and handling agriculture. So ha helping farmer organizations to become automated, organizing them so for effective aggregation of produce um, is not now a big challenge. Now, I had, as you can see, to actually acquire these skills, I had to leave some other people managing my organizations. And that has actually been a strength because I do not belong to my organizations. I actually are free to go uh, integrate with projects that are doing research, uh, carry out research work, uh, deliver that within the realm of the uh, integration with ICT. And uh, that has uh, been the main driver of uh, my contributions to the agricultural research arena. Um, of course, there are challenges because initially it was very difficult to be appreciated when you are coming from an ICT perspective and uh, you talk more ICT rather than um, uh, what everybody was, would like to see, to hear about animals and crops. Uh, but uh, slowly but surely I have been able to mellow down my language so that it actually um, also reflects the, the thinking of uh, those that I work with. So we, I can say effectively that um, I'm now more an all-round person involved in research, integrating ICT for Ag and ICT for Development and uh, enterprise development at uh, the community level. Um, I was therefore very keen when I saw the um, e-agriculture forum started by FAO and uh, I, I, I believe I must be one of those very early adopters of uh, that forum. Um, and I like it, mainly because um, I get an opportunity to listen at the, and watch the exchanges of others on in the, the online forums. 
and uh, identify what the challenges there are. Of course, sometimes I become irrelevant because I am throwing a solution the way I see them even without having to uh, comply to the thematic focus of a, a webinar. So at times I get, um, of course, uh, out of um, a line or out of tune with uh, whatever issues are being discussed. But at the same time, I, I think I also contribute something that is interesting. Hopefully that is the reason why I've been requested by FAO by FAO to participate in this uh, interview. And I believe uh, very strongly that um, there is value in uh, the work that I'm doing. And um, right now, because we have developed so much technology uh, that requires to be uh, embraced by the agricultural sector, my next Space starting from this year is to market that technology and make it be embraced by all. I love the platform that uh, the agriculture has offered, and I look forward to actually working more closely in uh, disseminating technology um, and linking uh, produce to and value addition initiatives to um, to the market and to create wealth for the smallholder farmers. Thank you very much, and may God bless you in 2030. Thank you.